As the feud between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney continues, Disney has decided to finally pull a nearly $1 billion project out of the state of Florida. And they're doing so in order to send a very clear message that Ron DeSantis's political stunts and retaliation against Disney is not something that they're in favor of and not something that they will stand for. Now, no one is happier about this than Donald Trump, and he engaged in some proper dunking, which we'll get to in just a moment, so buckle up for that. But first, let's tell you a little bit about the nearly $1 billion project that Disney was planning on accomplishing in Florida. So apparently the $864 million office complex known as the Lake Nona Town Center was supposed to involve the relocation of more than 1,000 employees from Southern California. The complex would have brought more than 2,000 jobs to the region with $120,000 as the average salary, according to an estimate from the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity. So the complex was first announced back in 2021 and was set to open in 2026. But it appears that is not going to happen. So let's get into you know, well, as you can see, Florida was going to get something out of that deal. You know, it's, it was going to increase jobs, uh, but Disney had a lot to gain as well. Uh, of course, Florida is a little more pleasant for business interests who are looking for tax cuts and less regulation. Most of the affected employees complained bitterly about having to move from Southern California to Florida. Some quit, but Disney largely held firm, partly because of a Florida tax credit that would have allowed the company to recoup as much as 570 million over 20 years for building and occupying the complex. When he announced the project back in 2021, Josh Amaro, Disney's theme park and consumer products chairman cited Florida's business friendly climate as justification. And don't be mistaken, Disney still has some pretty massive plans for investment in the state of Florida. So the same person, Diamaro, noted that 17 billion was still earmarked for construction at Disney World over the next decade. Growth that would create an estimated 13,000 jobs. He said, quote, I hope we're able to. And so the withdrawal from Lake Nona Town Center is likely a warning shot to DeSantis. But nonetheless, Donald Trump loved it and used it as an opportunity to dunk on DeSantis. Before we get to that, Cenk, what do you think so far? Well, I have mixed feelings. So I liked that Bob Iger was strong because I'm so tired of the theater. Everything is theater. And in this case, he wasn't bluffing, it wasn't theater. He's was like, okay, you're gonna threaten me? Okay, why don't I take a billion and 2,000 jobs off your hands and see how you like them apples, okay? So I appreciate that strength. And But at the same time, I hate that corporations bully states on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. And this is, you know, so this happens to be very, you know, it's got a huge spotlight on it. And it's because DeSantis originally did it for theater. He doesn't actually hate Disney. He loves taking their donate corporate donations, their campaign contributions, all of those things. The Republican Party loves their campaign contributions. And that's why when DeSantis did this theater, a lot of the Republicans turned on him, the Republican politicians did. And they're like, how dare you? That's a beloved corporation we all serve. And so when Disney says, give me $570 million in tax cuts, otherwise, I don't come. I hate that move. I hate that the, all the governors, almost all the governors, give into it. Yep. Uh, and and there's also a little bit of chicanery here because they also had construction problems on that project, and a labor revolt because their employees were like, "You're gonna move." Remember, they're not creating new jobs. They're just taking 2,000 jobs from California, and they were gonna move them to Florida. But those people actually lived in California, and they're like, "We don't want to move to Florida," right. and a whole bunch of them quit already, right? So. So the project was on the edge anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's a good opportunity for Iger to come and go, Oh, yeah, I'll show you who's boss on a project he might have canceled anyway. Yeah, that's fair to say. That's absolutely fair to say. Um, But with that said, I mean, it's everything in politics is about optics. And so the way that Disney can spin this, and honestly, that's what it appears is happening as we speak, is, you know, Ron DeSantis catching feelings over our statement against the don't say gay bill is really hurting the state of Florida, right? And Mm -hmm. so that's what they're doing here. It's a 
you know, it's a bit of a game. And what's helping them in this effort in the optics is Donald Trump. So I want to get to him because he loved this. And so the Trump war room on Twitter, which is Trump's 2024 campaign Twitter account basically wrote this, Ron DeSanctimonious gets caught in the mouse trap. The culture of losing continues. No. DeSanctis' weakness leads to job losses and loss of $1 billion. Okay, so let me just note, Ron DeSantis taking jabs at Trump by saying that Republicans need to get past the culture of losing. Definitely got under Trump's skin, even though he didn't name Trump, even though he didn't, you know, mention Trump's name. It didn't matter. Trump heard it. He hated it, and you know, you can tell by that that tweet. The Trump campaign also issued a statement called "President Trump is always right," which simply <laughs> reposted a Truth Social post by Trump from last month. And I'm not going to read all of that, but you know, he's basically going after Ron DeSantis and making fun of him in this battle with Disney. Yeah. So, look, first of all, we were right about the culture of losing being a good tagline for DeSantis, mm-hmm. and you could tell by Trump's reaction. But is DeSantis strong enough to fight back against Trump? Because either he's going to sit here and eat his meatball and, and like it. Okay. Oh my God. Or he could go back at Trump and go, "Oh, so you want groomers in our school? I hate this. Don't get me wrong. No, no, don't. Okay. I don't like that strategy. No, no, I hate the strategy, but it would work with right wingers. Okay, and he could say, "Oh my God, I can't be, believe Donald Trump wants our children to be exposed to gay people." Ah! Okay, now for us decent human beings, we'd be more turned off by that, right? But the base loves it. That's why he did it in the first place. So are you gonna fight Trump or are you gonna surrender? And my guess is DeSantis is a fairly regular politician. He's not gonna fight back. No. And he's chastened because this is the one thing that he lost all the Republican support on. His main strength is he has the establishment on his side. He's got establishment media, he's got right wing media, he's got right wing politicians on his side. And as soon as he touched the third rail, which is corporate donors, they're like, he got fried on it. And so he's gonna run for the hills. And so score one for the mouse easily defeats the meatball. Now, final thing that I want to mention in the context of this story, because I was entertained by it and I think you would appreciate it as well. Donald Trump also, well, Donald Trump's war room decided to go after DeSantis for a very good reason, which was this. Trump War Room tweets a screenshot of yet another awkward Ron DeSantis face. This is the more recent one that we also talked about. And I, and I love it, yeah. I, I enjoy it and I will allow it. Yeah, so look, it's a Hobson's choice. They're both horrible, right? Yep. But we do like it when they hit each other. Absolutely. And I, and I like this new trick that Trump's doing because if he tweets on Twitter, uh, it could cost him a ton of money because Truth Social depends on him only p- putting uh, posts there, right? Otherwise, the valuation collapses and Trump loses a lot of money. So he's invented the Trump war room yeah. that says things like the sanctus and the sanctimonious. It's obviously him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Truth Social depends on Trump and depends, depends on Trump. Oh, <laughs> okay. Hey, Ron the sanctimonious, that's a. A freebie from us, okay? Feel but free to take it. That's right. Yeah. But he won't because he's too scared. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you. Grumpy Cat says Ron's meatballs just got smaller. Oh my God. <laughs>